This time a bargain is actually a bargain. What's happening guys? Welcome back to the Whiskey Shed. My name is John McGrath. I'm your friendly neighborhood Irish man in his workshop drinking whiskey and sharing that experience with you guys. Now today we're going to be looking at Powers Three Swallow. So we're going to complete the Troika, the trilogy, the trifecta. There's going to be lots of references to Tree in this review. This is Power Three Swallow. It's a third review of the Power um, whiskies that I have done. So I've already covered the gold label, the John's Lane, 12 year old, and now we're gonna look at Powers Tree Swallow. This is the three offerings from Powers. So let's jump in and do it. Okay, so like always, we'll start with a little bit of history and a few stories about the whiskey that we're about to nose and taste. So I've already been through the history of Powers whiskey with my uh, gold label review. So definitely go back and check that out if you've not done already. I won't go super in depth into it here, just skim over it. So uh, founded in 1791 by James Power. He was an innkeeper in Dublin, set up a pot still on his premises and by the early 1800s, they were one of the biggest whiskey producers in the world. His son then took it over and it became known as John Powers and Sons. Now they were one of the big four whiskey producers in Ireland. You had Powers, you had Jameson, you had George Rowan Co, and you had Dublin whiskey distillers, all in the same area, an absolutely massive operation. It was the center of world whiskey and of course the events of history then collapsed the entire uh Irish whiskey market and destroyed the reputation of Irish whiskey. But Powers whiskey were one of the ones that actually survived, amalgamated into Cork distillers and with Jameson and a few others and became known as Irish whiskey distillers. So this is again out of the Middleton distillery in Cork where Jameson is produced, where Redbreast is produced, where all the spot whiskies are produced. The Powers was one of the ones that survived. So yeah, there you go, a brief little history. Now, one thing Powers did invent was the baby bottles of whiskey. So those little small bottles of whiskey, Powers were the very first to do it. So like I say, Powers Gold Label was a premium product back in the day. It was consumed like kings and royalty and the rich and the famous. And of course, whiskey back in the day was out of the reach of the average person, at least good quality whiskey. So Powers released the baby Powers so that the average person could actually taste and enjoy the whiskey. So, you know, whiskey back in history wasn't necessarily better than the whiskey we're drinking today. We kind of have an idea that we have to get back in time to the whiskey that came before, but I can guarantee you the whiskey that the, work, that the working classes were consuming in the 1800s and the early 1900s would be nothing like what we can get our hands on today. The whiskey that's available today is far superior. It would have been way watered down and cut with just about everything so that people could afford it. And it was only the rich and the famous that drank nice whiskey. So with that being said, let's take a look at Powers Tree Swallow. Okay, so on to the Powers Tree Swallow. Now this is a single pot still Irish whiskey, or as it was known back in the day, a pure pot still whiskey. And this is what they say, how they advertise it. It's a modern take on what was being produced by Powers in the 1800s in John's Lane. They have Powers John's Lane 12 year old, which is an absolutely fantastic whiskey. That is a pure pot still whiskey. And again, it's to get back into history to watch the premium whiskies that were produced back in the day. And that's what this is about. Now it's called Tree Swallow. It has three swallows on the bottle. And there's a couple of stories associated with that. Powers, the old bottles of Powers had swallows on them and the swallows would donate the pure, or designate the purity and age of the whiskey. So if they had three swallows on it, that was their best whiskey. And you would see three swallows in the glass or on the label on the old Powers bottles. It also, the story that they give with the bottle is that the coachmen that serviced the Powers family were given three drops of whiskey every night in their little flasks, their little hip flasks, to keep them warm on cold nights, and it would be three swallows is what was in it. Three sups or three drops of whiskey, and that's where the name three swallow comes from. So there you go, there's a little bit about the bottle itself. Now, like I say, it is a pure pot still whiskey. And for those of you who don't know, pure pot still or single pot still whiskey is unique to Ireland. There's kind of two main types of whiskey, single malt, and single grain, and everything is kind of a combination of two of those, but there's a third type in Ireland, and that's single pot still. It simply just came about because of the fact that Irish whiskey was so big, it was just like the center of world whiskey, so Britain decided to slap a big tax on malted barley just to get some of the, I suppose, some of the money that was being produced, because a lot of money was being produced at the time. So the Irish distiller said, we won't use malted barley. So they started to use a mix of malted and unmalted barley, and happily that produced Irish single pot still. So it's a mix of unmalted and malted barley, and it's an absolutely fantastic flavor. It gives a real um, creamy texture, oily texture to the whiskey 
whiskey and it gives a really nice spice so you'll know straight away when you're drinking the signature Irish whiskey or the quintessential Irish whiskey which is single or pure pot still whiskey. So let's get this in the glass and nose and taste it. So we'll jump in and nose and taste the whiskey. Now the whiskey itself is bottled at 40% ABV. As written on the bottle, it's a guaranteed pot still only. So it's a single pot still Irish whiskey, like I've explained to you already. It's non-chill filtered. It's a non-age statement, but I think it's somewhere in around six years old what's in this. Don't quote me on that. I couldn't really find out, but I think from what I've read, it's somewhere in around that kind of age. It's aged mostly in ex-bourbon barrels and it's, some of it is aged in other also sherry casks so i always like to hear that as you guys know if you've been watching my channel so yeah on the nose now on the nose straight away you know that this is power so if you've ever tasted powers gold label or even the powers john lane you can see that all these whiskies are related it has that lovely fruity kind of smell so you get this kind of citrus note straight away the orange peel and maybe even some lemon it has a lovely sweetness to it it's like a banana like a ripe banana sweetness and you get a hint of the Oloroso sherry so you get figs is what you get from it when you open this bottle it doesn't hit you with a big sherry note it's more muted it's more uh, integrated into the whiskey I suppose you would describe it as it's a very very nice nose very very approachable it's a uh, subtle it's not overpowering it has all those lovely flavors you get the kind of spiciness that you get from pot still whiskey that classic spicy note is in there you get the lovely figs it has a lovely um like I say, ripe and banana sweetness to it, and orange peel and some zest. Very, very nice and very, very pleasant. Now, I started the video by saying this bargain is actually a bargain. This normally retails at around 45 euros, 40 to 45 euros. So the dollar price is generally the same as the euro price when I check whiskey out. So 40 to 45 dollars. It's currently been sold for 30 euros. So it's an absolute steal for what it is. So that's why I say when a bargain is a bargain, this is actually a bargain. So a lovely nose. So on the palate, This is really nice. I really like this. I really like the Powers because it's a 20 euro bottle of whiskey and for a 20 euro bottle of whiskey, I think it's fantastic. John's Lane is a 60 euro bottle of whiskey and it's a pure pot still whiskey and it's absolutely lovely. But this to me, this is right in my ballpark. It has that lovely fruity character. It has that lovely oily texture that coats your whole mouth. That's pot still whiskey. So you do get some honey and some that ripe banana up front in the mid palate then you get some of that pot still spice which is absolutely lovely you get a little hint of the sherry it's not dominant in this whiskey not like slain where you get a lot of sherry which is also very nice and the glendalock double barrel that i um, reviewed again when you open those bottles pop the corks on those you get a big hint of sherry this one it's more integrated into the whiskey it's more subtle so you get some of the darker fruits that lovely fig so the nose is really the palate as well and it finishes then with that classic uh, powers pepperiness that you get it's not an overpowering pepperiness it's just nice it sits well in the mix it's not like some of the green art whiskies that i've tasted where you get that peppery burn that's horrible this is just a nice peppery spice so very very nice Yeah, it's very, very drinkable. I think this would be a real crowd pleaser. This is definitely something that a lot of people are going to like. And for 30 euros, it's an absolute steal. So again, lovely sweetness up front. You get some of that fruit, some of the orange peel, definitely some banana and figs are in there. And then that pot still spice and that lovely oily, creamy texture that you get from pure pot still Irish whiskey. Finishing then with a nice little peppery note and a little bit of heat. Not too much, it's not too off-putting. Doesn't give you a or anything like that. And that sweetness then kind of lingers around the mouth. Very, very nice. And I really do recommend, I actually recommend all three of these. I think for the price, for 30 euros, this is an absolute steal at the minute. Uh, for 20 euros i think that's the best uh, budget irish whiskey on the market and it's actually the biggest selling whiskey in ireland so if you're wondering what the biggest selling whiskey in ireland is that's it it's powers go label it always has been um, and it became known i suppose as the working man's whiskey once they changed it to a blended whiskey and then powers 12 year old john lane that's won loads of awards so i'm kind of uh, waxing lyrical about this now but we leave it on its side like I always do, leave it for 10 minutes and see what we can pull out of this. This one should be pretty nice. We leave it for set for 10 minutes like I always do and we'll come back to it. 
Okay, so we let it set for 10 minutes, let it open up, let it change a bit and see what we can pull out of it. So let's see if it's changed up any. Yeah, definitely the flavors, the dominant flavors now have kind of changed a small bit. So I just got a big hit of figs. So if you ever uh, tasted fig rolls, the biscuits, like Jacob's fig rolls, I just got a big nose of that. So the fig was definitely to the forefront. The sweetness of the banana has died back a bit. You can get the citrus now is more in the middle, so like orange peel, that zestiness. And the spice is a lot uh, more dominant now as well. So the uh, unwatered barley spice is definitely there. So you get some of the barley now, which is really nice. So on the palate. So strangely enough, on the palate now I'm getting a lot more of the ripe banana. Wasn't getting it on the nose, but getting it on the palate. It's a lovely ripe banana sweetness up front, some zesty orange peel, and now there's definitely a lot more pot still spice. It's a lot more of that spicy barley note, which is absolutely lovely. And the pepperiness at the back has kind of settled down a small bit more. It's really even integrated a little bit more, and it's a little bit more subtle. But yeah, very, very nice. It's, a, it's like a subtle whiskey. It's not big, complex, powerful flavored whiskeys. It's really subtle, but they're all there. They're all really well integrated, and it's absolutely lovely. They really know what they're doing down in Middleton and Cork. I know they're one of the biggest whiskey producers in the world, and they produce Jameson and Powers and Paddy and everything, but man, do they know how to make whiskey. So. Sometimes we all want to get our whiskey from the craft distillers and stay away from the big boys, but man, these guys really know what they're doing and they really do produce um, some fantastic whiskey. So it's just, this is, I can highly recommend this one. I really like it. Like I say, it's, this is in my wheelhouse. Single pot still whiskey is my favorite whiskey and I'm completely biased for being an Irish man saying that to you guys. So, you know, it's all subjective and everybody likes what they like. So the best whiskey in the world is the one that you like and that's different for everybody. But for me, it's definitely single postal whiskey. I love the texture of it. I love the spicy character of the unwanted barley that you get in the mix. And once it's aged, once, once you allow it uh, age long enough, then it's really nice. Young postal whiskey can be a little bit hit or miss, but once it's aged properly and done right, and I think uh, it's up there for me as some of the best whiskey in the world. And this is absolutely lovely. Yeah, very nice. It has a lovely sweetness to the whole middle of it. And I surrounded them by that peppery spice and some of the figs and the banana and the zestiness. So I'd sum it up by saying a lovely sweet center with a nice kind of hint of spicy malt surrounding the outside of it. But yeah, very, very nice whiskey altogether. Hi right, guys, there we go. That has been Powers Three Swallows. And yet again, I've frozen myself half to death. Thank God I'm drinking whiskey because it's December now when I'm filming this and it's quite, quite cold in this shed. But yeah, that's like I say, that's Powers Three Swallows. That's the three Powers offering. So that's the trilogy complete. I recommend all three of these. They're absolutely fantastic. Powers is my favorite budget Irish and it's the biggest, biggest selling whiskey in Ireland for a reason. It's 20 euros and for a 20 euro bottle of whiskey, it's absolutely fantastic. Powers John's Lane absolutely exceptional single pot still whiskey it's won a load of awards it's a bit more complex than the tree swallow uh, it might not have the mass appeal that i think this tree swallow definitely have i think a lot of people would love this this has a few flavors in it that might be a little bit more challenging it's a little bit more complex but it's absolutely beautiful as well but uh, yeah that's the tree swallows guys now there's a bit of controversy surrounding the powers bottles at the minute and um, powers have completely rebranded so these aren't the original bottles uh, people don't like people messing with heritage and tradition and if you change something they're up people get up in arms and a lot of people are upset about the new look of the powers bottles i happen to like them i like the shape i like the design that diamond with the p in it that's the first ever trademark to be actually registered in ireland going way back to the late 1700s and uh, the bottle is modeled after the pot still that was in John's Lane. It was the biggest pot still in the world at the time. It's now at the entrance to the Middleton Distillery in Cork. You can see it there. And the top of the bottle is modeled after that. And it's, they're trying to rebrand it, refresh the brand, because it was kind of seen as an old man's whiskey. It's been around so long, and it's been on the shelves of the Irish bars and pubs since, uh, you know, a couple of hundred years. <laughs> like, so it's been around forever, and uh, they're just trying to rebrand it. I actually like it. So yeah, I'm rambling now, so let's get, propose a toast. I'm quite cold. 
I have no problem putting this back this back in the glass, let me tell you. It's quite lovely. But uh, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed that review, guys. I definitely recommend it. And if you see it for $30, grab it. If you see it for 30 euros, grab it. If it's 20 something sterling in the UK, get your hands on it and grab a bottle of it. Uh, you won't be disappointed with this one. It comes highly recommended from me. So, propose a toast as always, guys. May the most that you wish for be the least that you get. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. So, slauncha, makara, take it easy and uh, enjoy our whiskey. That's lovely. That's lovely. That's going to be a really cloud cloud beezer. Sweet and spicy and malty and citrus and bananas and all the good stuff.